Do two. Dear Enda, as I write this, there's a scandal going on outside my wall. Some fluorescent jacket vandals are attempting to install. A meter set to privatise another state resource. And I know you said to suck it up and let it run its course, but it's hard to just get on with things and pay another levy, with the taxes that you've laden us already weighing heavy. On the shoulders of the people you were elected to defend, but neglected at the first sign of your European friends. So I've asked them if they wouldn't mind not doing it for a while. See, I don't like being rude, but I have a wife and child, and at seven in the morning I try to let them rest, because it's hard enough already and the nights are often stressed. But they didn't seem too interested in having a discussion. When I asked them if they thought about the future repercussions of the job that they were doing, or if they'd named their boss, they turned around in unison and told me to leave in no uncertain terms, and though I tried to be polite. I will admit I weighed them up and thought about the fight, but with one of me and four of them, the odds just weren't that great. So I cursed them to a knot and then accepted that my fate was to be bullied by these henchmen who refused to stop and listen, or to see what they were doing was a frivolous position, that the wages they were earning would be spent upon the tax, and with all the bridges burning, that there'd be no turning back. But I was going to post this to you, but I don't have your address. So I'll stick it up on YouTube hoping others do the rest and that you'll come to see it soon enough to take a stand and stop the madness happening to the people of this land because I'm not sure if you've noticed but the country is being robbed and I thought that you should know this so that you could do your job. You don't have to reply to me. I don't need to hear your thanks. I just see it as my duty to tell you that the banks are stealing billions from this country to fund illegal loans that were given to the people they've now driven from their homes that they forced them into buying by a method of pretending in a fraud they came to call fractional reserve lending and I know that's really wordy but in truth it simply means that the money they were given out had far outweighed their means it was created out of nothing and to nothing could return if the fraud was finally recognized and the banks were left to burn you might say it's not that simple, but I kind of think it is, because the debt is only real if we acknowledge it exists. And considering that the system is designed and built on fear, I don't think that it's unreasonable to try and be sincere or to say that just because the banks can magic money from thin air, it doesn't mean they're God and it doesn't make it fair to impose their own agenda on the country as a whole. So I'll pose this to you, Enda. Do you think you're in control? Or can you see the strings now pulling you in all the wrong directions? Is this really what you pictured when you first ran for election? Or did there come a point where you just simply didn't care about the people at the bottom and the lives they're living there? But a part of me would like to think that maybe you just don't know. That rather than being in on it, you're actually just slow. A quintessential Egypt, just a culture from Mayo, who made his way to Tisha because he'd nowhere else to go. But I write for the disaffected, the disjointed, the naive, who voted Fine Gael because they wanted to believe that by doing so there'd be some sort of seismic shift from the failings of the past and the changes would be swift. But they've realised your policies are essentially the same. And they're paralysed in thinking that they're the ones to blame. So they'll wait it out till voting time and then they'll pass the ball back across the court again and vote in Fianna Fáil. And on and on and on it goes and nothing ever changes. They just go back to the polls and the cabinet rearranges. The left goes up, the right goes down, the right goes up again. And the bird keeps flying straight towards its own uncertain end. But I've come to thinking over time, the bird needs to be shot. If there's any hope to truly change, it's time to stop the rot. We'll stuff it and then put it in the oven on to roast and wash it down with wine and raise our glasses in a toast. But look, they've packed up for a while now, but already it's too late. The babies woke up screaming and herself is in a state and the lads outside the wall that are leaving in the van are a testament to everything now happening on this land. There's a coup d'etat ongoing being led by corporations that have risen to the fore to respond to invitations, to come and join the party for the sale of Ireland Inc. to celebrate disparity over dinner and a drink. So it's grand for you now, Enda, because your rung is nicely cushioned. But to be honest, 
for the rest of us, the agenda that you're pushing is driving people to their graves every single day when they're not down at the airports to send their kids away. But if you actually gave a shite, and still isn't too late to turn the fortunes round for the future of our state. But for now, I better go, because I think I've said enough. Ganoyer Linga Joe, Sloan is bannocked, it's Joe.